Hi all. So today I'll show you how to create, yeah, how to configure figure private location in data dog. In data dog, okay. So in data dog, we have a two types of location, right? Uh, if you take a uh, data dog synthetic monitoring, so that is used for synthetic monitoring, right? In synthetic monitoring, so where URL we have, either you can run, run on that uh, public location, public location, uh, data dog does provide, right? And one we have managed location that is called, we can call as a private location, okay? So private location, we need to configure it. Okay, once you configure the private location, you need to whitelist that server IP under the application uh, NAT gateway and the application firewall. So you are able to access, you are able to generate a traffic uh, to from private location. Okay, so means you are able to hit that uh, URL. Okay, you'll get the response. Okay, so I'll let you, I will tell you how to configure a private location in Datadog. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. So first, what I will do is first I will go to my AWS portal and launch an instance. Okay, so I'm taking Amazon to Linux. Uh, T2 dot micro is enough. Just this is a demo. Next, I'm taking uh, 30 GB of space. That is also enough. I'm adding all traffic and anywhere. Okay review and launch so first uh, a server is up then i should install docker okay so let's install the docker so let's copy this and open the mobile stream session ssh control control v issue to hyphen user advanced ssh uh, take that pem file just a minute docker installation right Okay, so now I should open the notepad. Okay, we'll install the Docker. Okay, so we have a Docker command over here. So let's, okay. Now, then, then just one thing. The two line of command okay to install a docker
So not Docker install. Docker is installed. Okay. Now we will need to start the Docker. So now Docker is up. Okay, so now, so Docker is, so, so now if I will do Docker PS, no container, okay. Docker status. Service Docker status. No, it is not taking. Okay, that's fine. So now what I need to do is I need to go to the data doc portal. Okay. And uh, click on setting, add private location, give the location name. So I'm giving managed location okay description not required okay. tag you can create okay so tag you can create on the integration and api page you can create the tag so let's i'm taking one tag is called synthetic okay so i'm taking uh, admin roles for you now save the location and generate a configuration file so i will click here so i will take a json file Okay, so copy this to clipboard and put it to your notepad. Okay, so this is your configuration file. Now what I need to do is go to here. Okay, so that we did. Then view installation instruction. Now Docker. So I need to create a two file. Okay, so I should go to log into this portal and go to CD plus ETC and less. Okay. CD then data dog data dog is there docker is there okay so create here mkdir data dog okay now ls cd data dog okay nothing is there here you create file okay two files in it to create so vi i need to create files right so if i'll go here and go to here First, you create two files so worker config manage location dot json. Copy this till here. Okay. Go to this and paste it. Okay. Enter insert mode and take this file and paste it okay okay escape colon wq okay now again you create vi
go to this portal and so you take this one json file okay copy this and put it insert mode paste it okay escape colon wq exclamation mark okay now two files has created now what i will do is copy this copy this and if you do ls you have two files copy this paste it wait i find d Docker run hyphen dear enter. Now your Docker PS container is running. Okay. Now we'll go to our data doc portal. See. Now if you test the URL http www.google.com to test the URL. See. You're getting the response, right? So now if you click on OK. It will be same. You can see that manager location, the reporting now. So this is the way you can configure a direct list or data dog manager location. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you.